All right, I'm going to show you a quick material sample for Peak Generalization Receptively ID Non-Identical Body Parts 11A. For this program, it's pretty direct and straightforward. For pictures or for materials, you're just going to need pictures of animals, dolls, or other objects that have body parts that are referred to um, with different body part names. So you're going to show them the picture, and you're going to say point to the foot, point to the tongue, point to the leg, etc. So for the train stimuli, we just used various Google images, cartoons, real people. Okay, and so we targeted for stimuli one, a girl's foot, a lady's tongue for number two, and a man's leg for number three. For our test stimuli, we made it a little tougher, and we did the foot of a bed, so that would be, you know, down here. I'm um, sorry, the leg of a table and the tongue of a shoe. So those were the six stimuli, three train and three test. To run this, it's super easy. You're just going to put the picture in front of the participant and say, point to the leg. You, this one you wouldn't be able to give any feedback on because it's a test stimuli. Point to the tongue. This one you could prompt, praise, give feedback, things like that. So these are going to be intermixed in a block of 10. Again, it might be helpful to cross out that 2, 4, and 8 on your scoring guide to remind yourself that you're only scoring a 0 or a 10 for those test stimuli and not giving any feedback. Um, but yeah, you can just Google these images, print them out, shoot them through the laminator, whatever you need to do. Um, and that's just a material sample for peak generalization, receptively ID non-identical body parts.